This is the Rich Dad Radio Show. The good news and bad news about money. Here's Robert Kiyosaki. Hello, hello, hello. It's Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. The good news and bad news about money. Uh, the date is important today because it's March 23rd, 2020. The reason the date's important is because things are changing so fast right now. Without that date as a reference point, you know, what we may be giving you false information or things have changed since we talked to you. So uh, the reason we have the show is to keep you up to date. And it's the good news and the bad news about money. And uh, we just got off the air. We did one with a Rich Dad Radio Show with Guy Kawasaki, as you know, those Kiyosaki and Kawasaki. And we're both entrepreneurs. You know, I always say he's from the bright side. He's Mr. Positive. I'm Mr. Negative. But you got to have both. And the other guy that came out of Hawaii was an entrepreneur. It was a guy named Steve Case of AOL. And he, he shafted a couple of guys with that stock. But anyway, you got to grow up today if you're an entrepreneur. So it's, a, it's really a good time. And as I said with Guy Kawasaki, it was back in 81 when I was at, uh, when I went to first meet person to person with Bucky Fuller and be a student. He said something that was profound. His opening statement to our class, this is in Kirkwood, California by Lake Tahoe, but a hundred of us, he says, we are the news. And I didn't understand it. I was about 30 years old. I said, what does we are the news mean? And he says, what's in the news today is dead. It's old. It's the past. What's new is what we were doing in Kirkwood, California, listening to Bucky Fuller about the future. And so we just did this radio program with Guy Kawasaki on the future of entrepreneurship. And the message is with Guy and I, the message is the same. If you have this idea of go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, get out of debt and invest for the long term in the stock market, that's old. That's your prison. It's what, it's what people have put into your head. And so Kim was saying, she's driving in today and people are standing in the parking lots looking for jobs, but they're still operating on the old. And so a rich dad has been, it's been really tough being chicken little saying the sky is falling, the sky is falling, the sky is, well, the sky fell. You know, this coronavirus thing, it's the end of the world as we knew it, we know it. And it's about time people grow up, you know, trans, you know metamorphosis means the, the transformation from an immature form to a mature form. So that means instead of trying to be an employee and have somebody take care of you, it might be an opportunity to grow up and take care of other people, to hire people, to provide jobs rather than look for a job. And that's my point of view. The problem is our school system doesn't provide you that education. They're still brainwashing you into becoming an employee or a doctor or a lawyer or an accountant, heaven forbid. And as, I don't know if you know this, but accountants and lawyers are obsolete already right? because you don't really need them with artificial intelligence coming along. So our school system is obsolete, but so is the, I, I, are the ideas in your head. So people call me a pessimist. I'm actually an optimist because I can see the future and the future is very bright, but you have to let go of old ideas. Any comments, Kim? Well, it was interesting talking with Guy because we're talking about entrepreneurship and we think here that this could be an opportunity if you're stuck at home and you're out of work, this could be an opportunity to start thinking differently and to learn, to start learning something new. And as Guy said, you know, you don't have to be a big, it's not a big business you're starting. You're just starting. You're going to make something and you're going to sell it. You're going to make it and you're going to sell it. And you can do it in your garage. Robert and I started on our dining room table. Um, it doesn't have to be a big deal, but to start in this process could be a very big deal. And it just could be a huge game changer for you. Yeah. Become an entrepreneur. You know, Kim and I have been homeless. We've had no jobs, no money, no pension, no income. I mean, for one week, she had to live on $2 in Del Mar, California, one of the richest areas in the whole United States. So she has $2. What'd you spend that $2 on to survive? How'd you eat? Quesadillas. <laughs> Cheese quesadillas from a little taco stand. It's delicious. <laughs> and, and, but that's what it takes. And most people don't have it. I mean, they have it, but they don't need to have it because they've always depended upon a job or somebody to take care of them or the government to take care of them or, you know, social security or Medicare or a pension grow up. That's really the message from rich dad. Now I know I piss a lot of people off when I say that. Well, you know how you have no idea how hard it was for me. You have no idea how hard it is. I said, you have no idea how hard it is for Kim and I, you know, we've been sued for $30 million. We've had people lie, cheat and steal inside our company. So it hasn't been easy being an entrepreneur. So if you want it easy, go get a job with the government and get, get that pension. If you can. If you can. So anyway, this is the birth of a new, 
And that's the most important thing. So on our, our guest today is our one of our most important assets. It's Tom Wheelwright. He is our tax advisor because taxes are your single largest expense. And if you go to school, you get a job, you become an employee, or you become a doctor or a lawyer, you're gonna pay the highest taxes possible. And people get really upset. Well, it's not fair that the rich don't pay taxes. It is fair. What's not fair is you went to school and didn't get, get this information. So Tom is the author of Tax Free Wealth and is How to Build Massive <laughs> Wealth and Permanently Lower Your Taxes. But if you're an employee, you can't do that. But you can do that if you're an entrepreneur. So this is the message from Rich Dad. So Tom, the reason Tom's on is because the rules are changing really quickly now that coronavirus has hit. Once again, this is March 2020. Things are changing really fast. They're trying to figure out, it's not the coronavirus is the problem. I know coronavirus is real, but what is more real is the destruction of our economy. We haven't seen the worst is yet to come. So if you think losing your job's bad, wait until everybody loses their jobs. So, and Rich Dad's been warning about this, the good news and the bad news for years. If you didn't listen, well, you were warned. So Tom, welcome to the program. Welcome, Tom. Thank you. Always great to be on Rich Dad Radio. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. So right now, they're talking about how they're gonna bail out people and the taxes and all this stuff. And the good thing about Tom is like I always say, I was going to say to Guy Kawasaki, I don't know anything about technology, but I don't because I'm an entrepreneur. And I don't have to know anything about taxes because I have Tom. And I don't know much about accounting because I have Tom. So everybody who thinks they have to be smart, listen to Kiyosaki. I am an idiot. I don't know anything. But I have smart people around me. That's the biggest difference. So Tom, what do you hear uh, on this how are they going to solve possibly 20 to 30% unemployment, no jobs, no money, with, and they're going to print more? What's going to happen? Business is shutting down right, left, and center. Well, yeah, I mean, here's the problem. I mean, I, I have a uh, client who this very morning, they're meeting with their partners, and they're um, high-end uh, uh, surgeons. And they have to shut down because they, uh, they're, they're letting go all of their employees because they're, um, the, you know, it, the, everything they do is considered elective. So elective surgery is shut down. So this is true. I mean, I, I've, I've got a, a member of our uh, CPA network last week said that uh, they've got a client just laid off 300 employees. So people are being laid off right and left. And no matter what they do in the short term, it's not going to solve the long-term problem. And that's why I love the Rich Dad message that the long-term problem is not the virus, the long-term problem is education. And so I, I, I agree with you, Robert and Kim. I, I think that now is the opportunity to get educated because if you get educated now, I mean, you've got a few months here where you can defer your taxes. For example, you have at least till July, but probably, you know, likely till October, but then you're going to have taxes come due. What are you going to do? Cause you have no job. So now's the time to start being an entrepreneur reduce your taxes on a long-term basis so that it's not a deferral, but you never but, have to pay them. I mean, Tom, that, Tom, to me, Tom, the education is so important. Right. Let's, let's stop using that word education. It's really transformation we're talking about. It's, it's a, you know, we have a cash flow quadrant, ES, like ES employee, self-employed, like a doctor or a lawyer, to BNI, which is big business, and I, which stands for professional investor, insider investor. I don't have stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs because I don't need them. That's an entrepreneur. So the point here is this, that surgical center, well, that is an orthopedic surgeon, is that correct? Right. And his staff, are they highly qualified, educated, good people? Of course, of course. And they still lost their job. Yep. So this is the point we're trying to get, get to, ladies and gentlemen. You've been lied to. Old information, old advice was go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, have a government pension, 401k, IRA, and pay taxes. If you still have those ideas in your head, you should not be listening to Rich Dad Radio. Once again, I'm not saying the coronavirus isn't real. Tom might have just had it. But the problem here is the damage and destruction to the world economy. As I said with the Rich Dad Radio interview with Guy Kawasaki, this is like 9-11. You know, 9-11 was in two cities, Washington, D.C., and New York. This is like 9-11 in every city throughout the world today. 
This is a million times bigger than 9-11. And, and people are still trying to send their kids to school to get a job, work hard, save money, and invest in a well-diversified portfolio, stocks, bonds, mutual funds. That's obsolete old thinking. And so as Fuller said, what is the problem is that what's in the news is the death of an old economy. Coronavirus is the death of an old economy. What's new is what Rich Dad talks about. So, so Tom, could you go for it? What, what they're trying to, the Democrats, and, I thought, and I'm not Republican or Democrat, but the Democrats trying to save the employees but kill the business or something like that. Yeah, what, are the, what were the well, tax reforms they're discussing? So, so, so we've got this $2 trillion bill that's being discussed right now. And by, the, you know, by the time we air, it will have been passed. And the, the big conflict is, do we give money to the workers or do we give money to business? And you have the Democrats say we need to give money to workers, which clearly there's a lot of people hurting. But the reality is there are no workers without businesses. So if you, if you ignore the business, you're going to kill the workers on a very long-term basis. And, you know, yeah, you've got to feed them short-term, but boy, you better have those businesses going. So you'd better support those businesses. I mean, that's, my feeling, and hopefully that's what we're going to get out of this, is some support for the small businesses because they're the ones that are really feeding the economy and long-term feed the economy, and they're just they're getting killed right now. And one more thing about that is uh, so much, so many distinctions. You know, final ways of thinking. We had the CNN uh, debates between the Democratic candidates, and that's when the Bloomberg, Michael Bloomberg, a multi-billionaire, stands up. And he looks at all those other cartoons, and I'm not Republican or Democrat, they're all good people. But Bloomberg asks all these guys, Joe Biden, Sanders, Buttigieg, Klobuchar, who else? He says, have you ever started a business? And of those other candidates, none had. And those are the people running our economy. They're people like my poor dad. That's why we're in trouble. So, you know, Tom, Years ago, they didn't they like send a thousand dollars to all these individuals, sure. right? It it really did nothing because all they're going to do is spend it, it, it and they're yeah. going to keep them in the exact same situation it, they were in before. It, it, it exactly, and it, it's a little like you know, you know, you're you're solving your hunger problem by eating a donut. You know, it's it's great, tastes good for about a, you know a couple of hours, but then you're hungry again. And it's not nutritional. And that's the problem is that you're saying, well, we're going to solve this with a, a $1,000, $2,000 payment. It doesn't solve it. Mm -hmm. And so, you, you know, really the only way to solve it is what you're talking about, Robert, is transformation. We have to completely transform the way we look at life and the way we look at how we make money. Right. And, and you know, Tom, you can, you can verify this. I don't know much, do I? <laughs> um, we, I mean, not, well, not about taxes we and accounting. Let's just say that. No, 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 dangerous. If you a, a little little knowledge with you, Robert, is really dangerous. I know. <laughs> but I mean, nobody will give me a job, which I'm proud of. You know, I'm so unemployable. But I had to learn something different. Is what I'm saying. And the reason I recommend Tom's book, Tax Free Wealth. If you're sitting at home right now, and you're you're, you're ready to uh, have a conversations with your kids about being a little pest or whatever you do with kids. It might be time to order Tom's book, Tax-Free Wealth, and find out how the entrepreneurs think about taxes because taxes are your single largest expense. And there's also Kenny McElroy's book on real estate, you know, the ABCs of real estate. The reason I say that is that there's, we are in for the biggest crash we have ever seen. You know, all those Lamborghinis and Ferraris and Porsches and big homes and real estate, it's all oh, going to come crashing yeah. down. Now, it's bad news for the guy that has the big house and the nice Ferrari or the Land Rover or whatever they have on credit. It's bad news. But it's good news for those who think like entrepreneurs and see opportunity rather than despair. Any comments, Kim? Well, I, I just wanted to ask a, a kind of a different question of Tom because they're, you're, you're the one that studies all that's happening in terms of government and what they're proposing um, are there any other proposals coming forward that make sense? Um, but, you know, they make sense to some extent, right? So, for example, there was a bill last week that was passed, and it gives some benefit, um, tax benefit, to employers who, get, you know, have to, who give people 
um, sick leave. The, the, the problem with that is that it only gives it to employers who are over 50 and under 500. So small businesses don't get it at all. And it only gives a limited amount and requires a large amount and, and requires and has a big requirement. So the government's trying to do something, but because they don't understand how business works, they're actually in, in, in many cases, they hurt the Making business, worse, yeah. even though they're trying to help people. Yeah. And the other thing you talked about, you know, before they, they got into the, the cat fight between Republicans and Democrats, there was a possibility they were going to issue loans that didn't have to be paid back to businesses, but naturally the Democrats jump all over that. So that didn't get passed, did it? Well, not yet, but we're hopeful. <laughs> we're hopeful. That's, that's the one part of the bill that has long-term potential because you're talking about supporting the businesses, letting them stay open. And then, then, then yeah. what they can do is they're actually required in order to do that, to retain their workers and retain them on a livable salary. So that's a really positive approach to it, as opposed to just giving people, a, you know, a donut. Which makes a lot of sense because with technology, as long as the employer can pay the employees, they can work from home, and they can, and in in many cases, exactly. depending on the business, of course, but that they can keep the business operating, which is crucial. Well, well, the worst thing about it, it is if Rich Dad lost our, our employees, there'd be no Rich there Dad. There would be no Rich Dad. You know, to, to hire no. and, and you know, to retrain and to find great people takes oh. a long oh. time. Oh. We'd be dead in the water. Absolutely, and that's, that's, why, that's why pushing this out with businesses, keeping business open as long as, uh, as long as possible is so important because the virus won't last forever. We all know that. But as long as it lasts, it's going to continue to hurt businesses, and we've got to support that in order if, if we're going to keep the economy going at all because it's a domino effect. So once again, it's Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. We're talking to Rich Dad Advisor Tom Wheelwright, his author of the book, Tax-Free Wealth, How to Build Massive Wealth by Permanently Lowering Your Taxes. The only problem with that is you have to be an entrepreneur. Your employee can't do it. That's the big problem. So while you're sitting at home with a wife or a husband and kids, wondering what the heck happened to your life. How did I get in this position? I'm worried about losing my job. You know, maybe it's time you fed your brain. So we're talking about more than education. We're talking about transformation. How do you trans transform from a small business owner to a real entrepreneur on the B and the I side? Because the reason employees at Rich Dad are well off right now, no matter what happens is Kim and I have been planning for this for years and we've been talking about it. You know, I've been chicken little saying the sky is falling, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, but only a few people listened. In fact, several friends have come up and said, I should have listened to you. But now Tom is verifying that because he doesn't deal with employees. He's dealing with entrepreneurs and business owners. And Tom, they're in, a lot of, we're going to go to a break, but a lot of them are in trouble today, aren't they? The small business guys. Well, they, they are for sure, because, um, you know, and that's why they're laying off employees. Now, you know, they're laying off employees thinking, well, I can stay open, but I can't keep my employees on. So the employees are really the ones, you know, that, uh, you know, the small business owners get hurt, but the employees take the brunt of it. Yeah. So once again, it's Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. We come back, we'll be going more into transformation or metamorphosis. The definition of metamorphosis, which is the new word at Rich Dad, is that it is a transformation from an immature form to an adult mature form. In other words, the lesson is grow up. Just grow up. Don't go back to school and learn to be dependent upon an employer, the government, or the stock market. Grow up. When we come back, we're going to more how you can transform and metamorphosize. In other words, go from a caterpillar to a butterfly. That's what we're talking about. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. And once again, you can listen to the Rich Dad Radio program anytime, anywhere on iTunes or Android and YouTube. And please leave us a review when you listen to it. We'd like to hear from you. Because what I'm saying really pisses a lot of people off. Because I'm saying today on this lesson, grow up. You know, if you went to school and you have a high-paying job, that's an obsolete idea for most people. Investing for the long term in the stock market, very bad idea. Saving dollars when they're going to print trillions, extremely bad idea. So grow up. It's about metamorphosis or transformation. And you can listen to this Rich Dad Radio program anytime. Uh, at, I mean, listen to this program again because we're an education company. We make no recommendations about to buy and invest. And so go to Rich Dad Radio. Go listen to this twice, three times, and you'll, you'll increase your knowledge twice or three times. But most important, have friends, family, and business associates. 
listen to this program. So they're probably sitting at home doing nothing. You may as well listen to this program and get on the phone and talk to each other and discuss what are you going to do next? Because as I said, in 1981, when I listened to Dr. R. Buckminster Fuller, I was a student in his class, he says, we are the news. What's in the news is old, it's dead. So coronavirus is dead. It's the death of an old empire. It's gonna bring down the world economy, which is my concern, which I've been warning people about for years, as chicken little. But the future is bright if you're willing to metamorphosize, transform, to go from a caterpillar to a butterfly. So our guest today is Tom Wheelwright. He's Rich Dad Advisor on taxes, and taxes are a single largest expense. So in, in that regard, um, we're talking about you know, earlier show with Guy Kawasaki, we were talking about mindset. And, and Tom, if this is correct, one of the biggest problems we have is the mindset of our politicians, except for the Donald Trumps and, and even our, our governor here, Governor Doug Ducey, who came from very successful business that he built internationally. They have a different mindset. The problem is most politicians have never started a business. They don't understand business. And so they're passing laws and legislation that just really don't help or make sense to any business owner. Correct? Well, that, that's the challenge. The challenge is, is you can't take care of the workers without take care, taking care of the business. Because if you do that, you're, taking, you're talking about a very, very short-term solution to a long-term problem. And you're going to make the problem longer and more difficult if you don't support the businesses. It's, it's, this whole, the entire economy runs on business. It does not run on workers. It goes so Tom, back, Robert, to your your biblical: give a man a fish, and feed him for a day; teach him to fish, feed exactly. him for life. And, and that's just what we wanna, do. Yeah. You, you, you want to be fed a fish, you know? Yep. I, I'll pray for you today. You better grow up. That's all I'm trying to say. It upsets a lot of people. He said, "Well, you don't know how hard my life is." You know, talk about hard. Kim and I have been homeless without work, without money, without any future. And so I know what it feels like. But we didn't get successful or become successful feeling sorry for ourselves. And if you're feeling sorry for yourself, you know, enjoy it for a couple of hours, but then get grow up. Say, I gotta do something. Well, it's the epitome of they thought they had a, they had a secure, a safe, secure job. And now they and know there's idea. not and such a thing as a safe, secure job anywhere in the world today. And your pensions are toast. That's why I wrote the book, Who Stole My Pension? They're gone. And then you have a 401k. It's gone. You're saving money. <laughs> why would you save when they're printing it? I mean, it's really obsolete thinking. That's the problem. So our guest today right now is Tom. Is, I would get his book, Tax-Free Wealth. Tom Wheelwright. Tom Wheelwright. Because from Tax-Free Wealth, you read that, you'll see how an entrepreneur looks at taxes because they don't see it from an employee because Tom cannot help employees because your mindset is too obsolete, it's too secure. You know, most school teachers, what they want is tenure. That means job security. Mm -hmm. Why would you listen to a school teacher about money? And let's see, schools are closed for indefinitely today? And right. Tom, and Tom, if they shut the economy down for 90 days, which I've heard now, what's the future of America? Oh, it's, it's bleak. It's, it's very bleak because if, if you don't support the businesses, if you, you're telling me every, everybody stay home and nobody's shopping and Amazon is only shipping, you know, basic necessities, then you're, I mean, you're killing a, an economy potentially for a very long time. You've got to support the business. You've got to support the economic activity. And if you look back at 2008, I was just watching a podcast. Um, if you look back at the, at the crisis of 2008, it took 10 years for the economy to come back from that. And this is much more severe than 2008. Well, well and, and, and the, one of the reasons this is much more severe is that was a basically a banking Wall Street crisis where this is a Main Street crisis. And so you've got to support Main Street and putting money back in the banking system is not helping Main Street because the banks aren't going to lend to businesses no. that have just laid off all their employees. Another point, Tom, is a couple of things is that uh, they were – they're talking about uh, a tax holiday or something like a payroll tax. What happened to that? Well, that, that died um, because it doesn't help anybody who's unemployed and the problem is unemployment. So it, 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 that was not the best of the ideas. The better idea is something like let's support the businesses through loans, through government guarantees, things like that. Let's keep the businesses going because then workers can stay in their jobs. But that's what the Democrats attack. As I said, if you watch that CNN debate between Bloomberg and the rest of those 
Democrats on stage, none of them are entrepreneurs. They're running the, they're like poor dads running the economy. The Federal Reserve Bank full of poor dads, academic types. They've never started a business. That's the challenge. They're, they're, they really think like employees. That's yep. the problem. Well, they are employees. So the other point, Tom, well, here is their this. jobs are secure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, they and, have health care. Yeah. And, and worse than that, and worse than that, Tom, you know, there's all this the stuff about these uh, senators and congressmen insider trading. You know, they start dumping their stocks way ahead of anybody yep. knew this coronavirus was yep. an issue. But people don't know that insider trading for a senator or congressman is legal. Well, you and I, it's illegal, but for a congressman, it's legal. And that's why the that's golden so rule, wrong. it's the golden rule. He who has the gold makes the rules. And people are like, oh, oh, it's so, the inside, well, it's legal. And when, I, when you read Tom's book on tax-free wealth, it's legal, but not if you have the mindset of an employee. It's illegal if you do what Tom writes about in tax-free wealth. So get his book. Get the cash flow game and understand the difference between income and expense, assets, liabilities, and statements of cash flow that they'll never teach you in school. And the politicians have no idea what it is. Our balance sheet, the U.S. US econ the U.S. government's balance sheet is toast. It's gone. We have no assets left. All we have is liabilities piling onto the U.S. government balance sheet. Our debt to debt to GDP ratio just went to 1.15. We're a bankrupt at 0.9 debt to GDP ratio, and it's only going to increase the more they print money. So, Tom, one more thing: is everybody talks about student loans. What a stupid thing that is. Especially if you don't learn anything about money. But people are now talking about, oh, get an SBA loan. What's the difference between an SBA loan and a student loan, small business administration loan and, an, and a well, student loan? They're, they're pretty similar. You're basically pledging your life for the next 30 years um, because an SBA loan requires total guarantees of everything that you do, every asset you have. Um, they, they have really good terms. I mean, 30 years, you know, less than 4%. But the, at the same time, oh, we have a, by the way, update. Senate Democrats have again defeated um, the, uh, the 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 Senate bill. So <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, but the issue with the SBA loan is that you are pledging everything for a long, long period of time, and it's going to interrupt what you do down the road. Now, it may be the only solution you have, but at the same time, it the the, the terms are very onerous. Well, t Tom, the, the worst thing about a small business administration loan is still securitized to something. And if you have right. nothing, if you have no real tangible asset, you don't get the loan anyway. So that's the problem. And that's why when you go to school and you learn nothing about money, I'm not a Republican or Democrat. I really agree with Bernie Sanders. You know, people are screwed and you've got to help out the poor. But when you, you keep going to school and you learn nothing about money and you're taught by idiots, I mean, teachers who want tenure and job security, that's what you pick up. And those are obsolete ideas. As I said in 1981, when I studied with Buckminster Fuller, he said, ladies and gentlemen, we are the news. And what's in the news is dead. And so when you hear, every time you hear about coronavirus, that's the old, it's the death of the old and we're into the birth of the new. So Rich Dad is into the new right now. And I would highly suggest getting Tom's book and changing your mindset. How do you look at the world? Tax-Free Wealth is a very important book, only if you're an entrepreneur and a real estate investor and those things. But if you want job security and tenure, Tom's book is worthless to you. And, and talk, talk about go to school, get a job. Look at all these college seniors graduating and there's oh no God. there's no jobs. I mean, there's a whole other marketplace of employees coming out, and they will not be able to find jobs. So that's uh, that's why the Rich Dad Company was formed. And I may be pessimistic. Everybody says, "Oh, you're so dark. You're so negative." I'm not negative. I'm always looking. In, I'm looking at the death of the old and the birth of the new. So Tom and I and Mona and Kim were talking about this. You know, Amazon is the big hundred thousand pound gorilla in the room. It rips us small guys off. So as entrepreneurs, so the discussion now at RichNet is, let's take on Amazon. Are you up for that, Tom? Absolutely. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, thank goodness my, you know, thank goodness our books are available in ebook form, right? You can get them on iBooks um, because Amazon's <laughs> Amazon's having a tough time shipping stuff. So you you have to completely change the way you think right now. Not completely. only that, a- Amazon just keeps raising the how much they take from us. Now I love Amazon. Don't get me wrong. Amazon's done us a lot of good. I'm not negative, <laughs> you know, yeah. and all this. But I'm just telling you, as an entrepreneur, I can get upset with Amazon, or I can say, let's take them on. And that's the entrepreneur's attitude. That's the future. We take Amazon on, guess what? Rich Dad gets richer. Now he goes, oh, that's, you're so greedy. No, you're idiots. No, we can keep our doors open and pay our employees and hire more people. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. And so the, all these guys who get upset with Kiyosaki, especially saying, you know, because I've been calling coronavirus a fake. I'm not saying it's not real. I'm saying it's a smokescreen for something else, and that something else is the destruction of the U.S. and the world economy. And if you can't see that, then there's something wrong with you. I don't want the coronavirus. Tom might have had it. Garrett might have had it. But we survive. The world economy might not. Is that correct, Tom? That's, that's what we have to do. I mean, we, right? I mean, we have to survive. And the great thing is, like you were saying earlier, it's a... It's an amazing time to be doing this transformation because you don't have anything else to do anyway. Let's do it. Let's make this transformation in our lives now. What a, what a great opportunity and, and not pay taxes and, you know, legally and, and do things differently, have control over lives. I, I just think it's an amazing opportunity. Or, or, or you can get pissed off at Kiyosaki for, I posted, you know, what I did was I posted from Nicole, my A student doctor, all the stats on coronavirus and diabetes and car accidents and gun accidents and all this, it shows that coronavirus is a hoax. I got more hate mail and I had to take it down from Twitter because people get, they get angry at me than, than looking at the numbers. Just look at the numbers. And that's all we're saying to people, wake up. But what's in, the paper, what's in people's minds is my poor dad's attitude, go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, get out of debt, and invest in long term for the stock market. Anybody following that advice is toast. That's the problem, it's inside your head. So take the time when you're sitting at home with the wife and kids or husband and kids or whoever you sit at home with and study. But don't read you know, the National Enquirer, read Tom's book, get the cash flow game, teach other people. So, Tom, my, my big thing, is there any, going to be any relief for employees and taxes? Where's where, where the good news and the bad news? Where's the good news? Well, the good news is, is they, they are going to send out checks. Uh, that, that's for sure. They are going to extend unemployment. That's for sure. Okay, so so that's good news. The, the better news is if they were, <laughs> these guys could get together and support small business and understand that that's where, the real, good, but the real good news is, is now we've got, we, we've got never a better chance and opportunity, like you say, to transform our lives, transform the way we think, and and take the time to, you know, whether it's my book, whether it's, it's your books, it's Kenny's Kenny's books. These are all opportunities to completely change the way we think about money and about our lives. So, Tom, let me ask this question: Do you think there's going to be massive bargains in real estate and housing and cars? Oh my heavens! Oh my heavens! Yeah, it's yeah. So, I mean, it's everything's going to be on sale. Well, and I'll tell you, everything's going to be on sale. I so. talked with a mortgage broker yesterday, and she's telling me that all these loans that were, all these mortgages that were about to close, have all been pulled off the table. Um, they're looking at people's portfolios, the people that want to want to buy a house today. It's almost, she said, it's almost impossible yep. to get a mortgage today. So, please, please hear me, because you, you're gonna you're gonna get pissed off at Kiyosaki for being Darth Vader again. You know, I'm going, hey. There's a lot of great real estate coming on the market in the next couple of years. That's what we did in 2008. Is that correct, Tom? Oh yeah, I watched that. And 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 the great news is, you know, real estate great tax great tax benefits with real estate if you do it right. So, you know, there are opportunities if you're if you're if you're transforming. There are opportunities if you're not transforming. You're you're going to be scared for a long time. So if I, buy, if I, if I wait to buy an SUV on sale, is that a good news from a tax wise too? Yeah, of, of course. Of course. As long as you're using in your business. Yeah, of course it is. It's great news. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So all you pessimists out there, it's because you went to school. You probably have student loan debt and you probably have a mortgage and you probably have 401k and you're looking for a job right now as 
you know, this guy Sultan Sultan Nathan said and in, 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 uh, the Gulag Archipelago. He says he had to ask himself there. He says, "How did I get here? How did I get here? Why am I unemployed? Why don't I have money? Why am I broke? Why am I looking for another job? Why am I afraid? What caused you to get here? And the what caused you to get there were all the times you took the easy road. You just want it easy. And I understand I'm as lazy as anybody comes." But when you take the easy road, that's how you get here. You want job security, you want the government to take care of you, you want bailouts and all that, rather than shifting or transforming your mindset from employee to a small business to a big business and professional investor. Very big, different mindsets. And that's what Rich Dad stands for. Any comments, Tom? I, I, I you know, I, I love it. I mean, I... It, it, it's a tough time. We, we you know, don't want to deny that it's a tough time for, for everybody, including businesses. At the same time, it's a great time because it is an opportunity to, to, to transform and to change. And, yeah. and, and, and you have to ask yourself, how'd I get here? Yep. And about the easy road, you know, the government's talking about, oh, well, we'll just have more and more and more people dependent on the government. Well, just know if you become dependent on the government, that's a big, there's going to be a big price to pay for that well, that's personally. Risk. Yep. It's that's a, a huge a risk. risk. Huge risk. So, Tom, you know, thank you very much for your contribution to real financial transformation. Because when you talk about tax-free wealth, you have to transform or you just get pissed off at the rich who don't pay taxes. Mm, and it's, that's right. And the thing is, while it's not fair, it is fair because the tax laws are available for everybody. Right, Tom? That's the good news. Uh, you know, all you have to do is, is change your life and uh, you can change your tax situation and it's really simple and you, you can do it in a matter of a couple of months. Another thing too is, you know, Tom and I travel the world together and they always say, well, you can do that in the U S you can't do it here. Mm. Is that true? Or, you know, like we're, we're it, in, it's true. in every, it's true in every country. I mean, uh, everybody's tax laws are similar. Um, every country has tax laws that benefit business. They promote business. They promote investing. They promote real estate. They promote energy. They promote uh, investment in research and development. Every country has those same Laws, they're different in detail, but the, but from a mindset standpoint, they're exactly the same. Correct. And so the biggest problems you went to school and you wound up on the E and the S side, if you want to make a change in life, it's called metamorphosis, which is going from an immature form to a mature form on the B and the I side. But that takes financial transformation. So I thank you, Tom. And then when we come back, you know, Kim and I will be talking about how we plan to take on Amazon. You all, are you up for that, Tom? That sounds great. Yeah, it'd be kind of fun, huh? It's David and for Goliath. Sure. It's David and Goliath, man. We're going to take them on. Or do it. I can complain that Amazon's unfair to me. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Take yeah. care. And, 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 and Tom's website is WealthAbility, WealthAbility.com. And get us book, Tax Free Wealth. When we come back, we'll be talking more about our attitude on taking on Amazon. It's a classic David and Goliath or caterpillar to butterfly. We'll be right back. Welcome yes, back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. You can listen to the Rich Dad Radio program anytime on, on iTunes or Android and YouTube and leave us a review whenever you listen. And the last thing is that all of our programs are archived. We archive them for one reason, is we don't sell, we don't sell anything really. We don't sell edu uh, investments, but we do sell education. And we, that's why we have a cash flow games and books and tapes and all that because your greatest asset is your mind, but it's also your greatest liability, especially if you went to school. So you can go to richdadradio.com. All of our programs are archived. Listen to this program again. You'll learn twice as much, but more importantly, share with friends, family, and business associates, especially if they're sitting at home right now, hoping that the government's gonna save them because the government can't save them. As I said, this I don't doubt this coronavirus is real. I don't doubt it's deadly but I think it's a smoke screen for something else going on and, that's, and that something else going on is to crush the global economy. As I've said before, this coronavirus is like a 9-11 going off in every city throughout the world, especially here where you live. You know, in Scottsdale, you know, we have the same problem, same problem in Japan, it's the same problem. And I think it's a hoax personally, but I could get killed for saying that. Any comments, Kim? <laughs> well, we're talking about entrepreneurship and we're talking about um, all this change that's happening. And so 
one of the things as an entrepreneur, we always ask, okay, if something is happening, what can we do about it? What can we do? If there's something negative that's happening in our business, how can we turn this negative into a positive? Um, so we're always looking. So with the coronavirus right now, you know, all of our staff is working out of their home, but we're operating pretty, pretty well, very well, actually. Um, but we're always asking, what can we do better? What, how can we make, how can we turn this into a positive? And because, Where's the opportunity? And because we were prepared for it, you know, like our staff knows, and they've seen our accounts, we have enough money to keep us staying for another five, six months, even nothing happens. But being entrepreneurs, we see disaster as opportunity. We see it as the biggest opportunity of all, and that's how entrepreneurs think. So Kim and I are thinking about, well, let's take on Amazon. You know, they're, every time we sell a book, let's have a sell a book for 10 bucks, they take 55 cents now. I think that belongs to me. So rather than say, oh, Amazon's a big crook, you know, the rich dad company has now figured out, well, how do we take on Amazon? Why let them steal from us? Why bitch and complain? Why be a wimp? Transform, metamorphosize. Stop going from immature to mature. The same thing we did with rich dad years and years ago, 20 something years ago. Why would you go to school when they teach you nothing about money? I took them on, we took them on. And of course we got criticized. You know, and when I take on financial planners for investing for the long term on well diversified portfolio stocks, bonds, mutual funds, I get hammered by those guys. I get hammered by them. They think I'm the biggest charlatan going, but they're the biggest charlatans. And people see that today because their 401ks are disappearing, their pensions are going to disappear. So the question is, what do you do now? It's not easy being chicken little. But you've been warned. The question is, what do you do now? What is the future? So we had Guy Kawasaki on it, and it was the future of entrepreneurship. The future of entrepreneurship is keep your daytime job, but start a part-time business. Then you get tax breaks. Oh, no, that's crooked. The rich are cheating us. No, the people cheating you are the school teachers that don't teach you this stuff. So that's what the transformation is, is you better change that garbage they put in your head, which is industrial age garbage, get into the information age thing. Maybe I should be an entrepreneur and play the game as the rich play. Any comments, Kim? Yeah, well, we, I mean, we talk a lot about mindset change. And so as entrepreneurs, we talk about Amazon. So so the problem we saw with Amazon, Amazon's done a great job for us. They we, we love Amazon. And they keep raising the amount of money that they take for every sale of our product. So and they we're don't not- do anything different. So we're just saying, okay, this looks like this is a trend that's going to continue on. This is not going to serve us. So what, what other options do we have? What else can we do? And we have that power to change and, as, as Sarah said earlier, to pivot. So this may be a pivot. We have to go, okay, this may not be working anymore. What can we do so it does work? That's the mindset that we operate by. Yeah, or you can sit in the parking lot and look for a job, you know, I mean, and then bitch about the economy or coronavirus. When it's a hoax, it's a hoax. I, in my opinion, that's why I read Bucky Fuller's book, The Grunch of Giants. This is the grunch. This is how they're gonna steal everything from us. They wrote the book, Who Stole My Pension? Man, those, that idiot in the Seattle Times attacks me for it. It's like I'm being a fear monger. Well, I wish he'd retract his stupid statement. That's what happened to listen to financial planners because they work for Wall Street. Why don't they tell you the truth? Their money comes from Wall Street. They don't work for you. You know, they're not fiduciary. They work for you. Just follow the money. Well, I'm not against financial planners, but they're not honest. That's what I, I get upset about. But the problem is the biggest problem is the biggest crooks in the world is the education system. How can they keep raising, you know, student loan debt and bankrupting young people? That's criminal. That's usury. You know, when, when Christ went into the temple and threw the tables away of all the money lenders, well, that's what the, that's what the education system has become. You know, there are a bunch of guys working for Wall Street. That's what I get upset about. Well, we've, I mean, we've had so many guests on our show that talk about the economy coming to a, a, a fiasco and a crisis, and it's one of many things that's going to cause it. But there's no doubt they are going to blame the coronavirus as the cause of the economy coming down yeah, when the economy well, yeah. was going to come down anyway by some means in the uh, near future. It was future. coming down in September of 2019. If you pay attention, it's not the stock market. What was going down was the repo market and the, uh, the commercial like commercial finance, CP market. Anyway, commercial credit market, something like that. And then the 
corporate credit market was coming down in September. Nobody could see it. It was coming down. The commercial credit markets were coming down as the stock market was going up. And all the guys who knew were getting out and all the guys investing for the long term were piling in. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But that's why you're saying it looks like the virus is real, but it looks like it's definitely going to be an excuse and a smokescreen for the economy collapse yeah. that's coming worldwide. And, a, and, a, and what I would say, my rich dad would say to me, so effing what? You're being screwed. You know, we're all being screwed constantly by our leaders and our government and people we don't trust and all this stuff. So what? Grow up. Just grow up. Metamorphosis means that the transformation from an immature form to a mature form. That's what Rich Dad stands for. When it comes to money, grow up. So I thank you all for listening to the Rich Dad. I want to thank the Tom Wheelwright. Please get his books, Tax Free Wealth. And his website is wealthability.com because you want to find out how the rich are getting richer during this crisis. You're going to change the way you see the crisis. Thank you very much.